Meanwhile, calls for a ceasefire continue, including a resolution passed here in Chicago three weeks ago. More than 19,000 Palestinian Americans called the Chicago area home, by far the largest population in the U.S. So that resolution is drawing attention and possibly signaling what's ahead for election season. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos takes a closer look at the impact that appears to be having in the Palestinian community. I vote aye. With the roar of celebration also came a wave of criticism. A resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire left a sharp divide in the Chicago City Council, and three weeks after its passage, it remains a hot button issue. Despite the controversy, the resolution matters to Palestinian Americans in the Chicago area, like Nesrin Hassan. It boils down to humanity. It's a perspective Hassan feels has been widely absent from the conversation. She is a member of the U.S. Palestinian Community Network, among the many groups that campaigned in support of the resolution, which she says, while purely symbolic, gives thousands of Palestinians in Chicago a voice in a time they need it the most. Our community feels neglected. We feel vilified and dehumanized all at the same time while we're grieving, watching our loved ones being killed. The Palestinian death toll in Gaza has now surpassed 29,000, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, where women and children make up more than two-thirds of the casualties. An astonishing stat that Hassan says was given some dignity by the resolution's passage. I absolutely don't think they see the humanity. I think they were upset that this resolution brought the humanity of Palestinians. This puts us in sync with the international movement that's going on right now. The resolution's passage has in many ways caused a ripple effect across the country where as many as 20 cities now working to get similar resolutions passed. And in our area, it's shaping up to be a central issue come election time. One group already rolling out a powerful ad highlighting recent remarks by Orland Park Mayor, a Republican, who recently pushed back against a ceasefire resolution. Hoda Schubert, a Bolingbrook resident who voted for President Biden in 2020, is one of many Palestinian Americans rethinking their support for Democrats. Her grief over losing a dozen relatives, including her parents in war-torn Gaza, has shaken her to her core. Although we put a lot of trust in them in the previous elections, I see that my, myself and my community are not voting again for them. With the ceasefire nowhere in sight, activists are now looking ahead, setting their sights on the Democratic National Convention that's going to take place here in Chicago in August. Reporting outside City Hall, Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News.